This clip might look easy, just a smooth takeoff, but reaching this moment took countless sleepless nights, breakdowns, and sheer determination. This isn't just a drone, it's VS-200, a manned aircraft I built with my own hands. everyone this video is about how i built my own manned drone vs 200 it all started with a simple thought what if i could build a drone that i could ride i've worked on electric propulsion and battery systems so the idea wasn't completely out of reach the image in my head was so clear a real flying machine powered by batteries and motors that i designed myself but once i started reality hit hard even sourcing parts was a challenge. I constantly questioned myself. Can I really do this? But I couldn't stop. I had to see this idea through. Um, after weeks of subsystem tests and isolated component tuning, I finally reached the most nerve-wracking and exciting moment of the build, the final integration. This is when everything came together. Frame, motors, electronics, power system, control system, every part built separately now had to, had to fit perfectly into the aircraft. I started by installing the ESCs into their protective compartments, then carefully aligned the motor mounts. I had already done dozens of drive fits, but there's something about locking everything down for good that raises the pressure. Every bolt was torqued to spec, every vibration pad placed meticulously. Then came the battery system. I double checked cell voltages, BMS connections, and internal resistance before sliding the entire pack into its mounting rails. It clicked in with a heavy finality. With the control unit and GPS secured, I began the final wiring. Main power lines were connected with the uh, Thick XT150 connectors. Signal cables were routed through braided sleeving to avoid chafing. One last check on polarity and continuity. And then the moment I turned on the master switch, the lights blinked in sequence. The drone was alive. Everything. I'd worked on, every part I had fabricated was now part of one unified machine. This was the VS-200 ready to take off.
um, after weeks of subsystem tests and isolated component tuning, I finally reached the most nerve-wracking and exciting moment of the build, the final integration. This is when everything came together. Frame, motors, electronics, power system, control system, every part built separately now had to, had to fit perfectly into the aircraft. I started by installing the ESCs into their protective compartments, then carefully aligned the motor mounts. I had already done dozens of dry fits, but there's something about locking everything down for good that raises the pressure. Every bolt was torqued to spec, every vibration pad placed meticulously. Then came the battery system. I double checked cell voltages, BMS connections, and internal resistance before sliding the entire pack into its mounting rails. It clicked in with a heavy finality. With the control unit and GPS secured, I began the final wiring. Main power lines were connected with uh, Thick XT150. Connectors, signal cables were routed through braided sleeving to avoid chafing. One last check on polarity and continuity. And then the moment I turned on the master switch, the lights blinked in sequence. The drone was alive. Everything I'd worked on, every part I had fabricated, was now part of one unified machine. This was the VS-200, ready to take off. Flight tests were brutal. On some days, the drone would flip the moment it lifted. ESCs overheated, communication failed, it crashed multiple times. Even if I wasn't inside, the fear was real. This was still a manned drone. That pushed me to obsess over safety. I reworked the damping structure to minimize vibrations, added reinforcement where needed, and optimized weight by remachining parts with CNC. EMI issues during flight forced me to redesign shielding and add ferret cores everywhere. I kept solving each problem one by one. And finally, the day came when I thought, I think it's ready to fly. This is the video of our first successful hover. You can see me jumping with joy. That morning, the weather was perfect. Clear skies, light wind, I checked everything. Frame batteries, motors, GPS, controller, again and again. Then I flipped the power on and slowly pushed the throttle. It lifted, smooth and stable. I held my breath, watching VS-200 hover in the sky. All the sleepless nights, the failures, the stress, they all came flooding back. It was hard to believe I had actually built something that could fly. It wasn't just a flight. It was a promise to myself, fulfilled.
This project taught me so much, not just technical skills, but how to face failure, trust myself, and keep going. BS200 is just the beginning. It's my first manned drone. There's still a lot to improve. Performance, safety, efficiency. But this beginning could someday lead to real, safe air mobility. To anyone watching this, if you're working on your own project, please don't give up. Every failure is just part of the journey. I'll keep building, keep testing, and one day, I'll release a flying machine that truly changes how people move. Thank you for watching and being a part of this. If this video inspired you, please like and subscribe. Your support means the world.